live from Atlanta, Georgia, it's theCUBE, covering Citrix Synergy Atlanta 2019. Brought to you by Citrix. Welcome back to theCUBE. Lisa Martin with Keith Townsend, continuing theCUBE's two-day coverage of Citrix Synergy 2019. We're very excited to be speaking with one of the Citrix Innovation Award nominees, ZF Group. We've got Walter Shearer, Senior Manager of IT Workplace Foundation. Hi, Walter. Hello. Nice and to meet you. Greg Lehofer, Manager of Client Virtualization. Greg, great to have you on the queue. Thank you very much. So, Hello. first, congratulations to ZF Group for the Innovation Award nomination. We hear there were over 1,000 nominees. <laughs> well, thank you. Pretty thank exciting you so to get to the top three, one of the top three finalists. So Walter, let's start with you. Tell our audience who ZF is and what you're doing with Citrix. So ZF is a global system provider. We enable next generation of mobility. So for us it's very important to invest in technology fields like integrated safety, electricity, like automated driving, that's very important for us. So we see uh, the, the future, the world will change. So we see it every day. So and therefore it's very, very important for us that we push innovation, that we push internet of things, and we push the digitalization. That's, that's, that's a must for us. So you guys are supplying, a company that supplies systems for I see here, passenger cars, commercial vehicles, and industrial technology. Yeah. It's across Germany or is this across that's, Europe? That's uh, globally, so we have around uh, 40 countries where we have locations, where we have um, well organized uh, globally and therefore it's very important for us to bring the right uh, product for the future for our customer. Wow, so Greg, tell us about the landscape. That, that's 40 countries. Tell us, how big is the infrastructure to support all of that? It's very big, so the transformation of IT is very important for us, as Walter mentioned before. So uh, yeah, we start to build up uh, a bigger infrastructure now, a virtual infrastructure, because in the past we have a lot of hardware in place, and so um, it's all from, from ZF, and now we are able um, that the external service providers, and we have a lot of external service providers in place around the globe, so that they can bring their own devices now in ZF and can use virtual desktops. And so, um, yeah, for us, the effort is not so big because the infrastructure is more central at the moment. And so, yeah, and we are searching for new ways how we can make that more efficient for us and more easier in um, manage them. And so, yeah, we are looking at cloud infrastructures so at the moment, and yeah, we are working very close together with Citrix and that technology, technology. And yeah, for us, we are very proud that we are now nominated for the prize. And yeah. So again, about scale, how many partners worldwide do you have? So number of devices connecting to your infrastructure, how big is your, your customer base? Uh, so we have, uh, we have uh, um, a lot of customers there. So for our project, because as you mentioned, so we have uh, off-road uh, vehicles, we have um, we have products uh, concerning um, the automotive uh, area. So we have uh, in the commercial areas. So that's a lot of uh, individual customers that we will have there. So, and uh, therefore, uh, we have to bring the right outcome. So, with Microsoft, uh, with uh, Citrix Technologies, and of course with the partnership with Microsoft, that's very important too for us. And so, we have um, to bring the right infrastructure in place, especially in the user-centric experience uh, approach. That's, that's very important too for us, and therefore, we have the good partnership with Citrix. So, and uh, with Citrix, uh, they have a really big and uh, powerful systems in place, products, a portfolio, so that will help us uh, in this journey. Let's talk about that journey, Greg, when you started working with Citrix to virtualize the environment. Talk to us about how you went about that um, from a mobility perspective, and what is that is enabling your business to yeah. achieve for your customers? Yeah, for our customers, we have 
global traffic. Uh, we have customers all over the world. They are always on airports and traveling around the world. And so it's very important for us that we are transformate the IT in that way that the customer is able to work all over the world, anytime, anywhere, with any device. It's very important for the customers and for the new uh, generation X to work with every device. And yeah, there is a big transformation at the moment in place. So um, yeah, with Fitrick, it makes it easier for us that we can provide all customers with every device, a workplace or an application that application the customers need, or I, our employees need, to work, to collaborate all over the world with other engineers and so on, 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 on collaborate topics and on tasks and on projects. And yeah, with that technology, with private cloud and now with public clouds, they are able to work with all kinds of devices everywhere in a secure way. And that is important for us because security is one of the important factors for us because when you are traveling all around the world and connecting from every place, security, in our perspective, yeah, it's very important. And so with that technology, it and is if, able. And possible. if you are looking to the flexible platforms, that's very important. Yeah, right. The solutions that uh, Citrix have in place today with the cloud system. So that brings us in the situation that we could manage all the platforms that we have in place locally today and if you connect it to the cloud, so therefore we have a common plan so to can administrate and manage all the Citrix environments. So I imagine there's a, a large range of applications that you're deploying. You guys seem to provide a lot of services. What, what type of application, data, and tasks are happening remote uh, with your users? Like, what's the typical transaction that a user will conduct while they're at a, sitting at an airport? So that's what Gregor said, so that's a very important uh, with, the, with the device strategy that we will have with uh, any device, anywhere, mm -hmm. and to each time. So, and uh, therefore we could provide uh, a virtual desktop, so that's independent from the device. So uh, we have, uh, maybe for collaboration, that's a very similar uh, topic. So we have solutions for our third parties, for the contractors, and uh, so, we could give them a smart solution with Citrix uh, mobile desktop with mobile app. So they have the, the possibility to connect to ZF in the, in the infrastructure. And so we are very flexible about that. So the only what they need, they need a device, they need a browser, that's it. So and that's uh, the solution from Citrix. In terms of the operational efficiencies that you have presumably gained from working with Citrix, sounds like your users as well as your end user customers are benefiting from the virtualized infrastructure that you've put in place, but talk to us about from an operational perspective, how much more efficient is your organization now? From our perspective, it's more efficient because as I mentioned before, um, in the past, they we have to give all our external service providers, as an example, hardware from ZF. And so it's a very big benefit, uh, uh, a lot of doings for our IT to prepare the desktop, to make them secure the hardware, and so on. And now we are not longer responsible for that hardware because the external bring their own hardware and we only provide them a VDI on a secure way, a Netscale gateway in that case. And though they can connect and we only take care about our workplace and they take care of their hardware. And so, yeah, for us it's a more event, much better because our, our effort is not so big and that is very good and yeah. And so, uh, as an example, uh, the workplace from Citrix, the new, it's very, very, very good for our customers because the user's interest is, 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 is very high because a lot of tools or applications they need as book their time and SAP and uh, read their emails, uh, have a look at the chat, have a look at uh, Teams and so on. It's all in one platform and uh, saves a lot of time. And time, yeah, everybody knows is very uh, uh, important f for us. <laughs> and yeah, when we can save, save time, it's very, Perfect so for us. Let's dive into that time savings. Okay. How long does it take you to onboard a new partner now versus before you had Citrix? Now, so in the past, it was a, there were a lot of, pro of processes and they need, uh, I would say, days. So in the meantime, we have to push 
uh, a button. So and then what we'll say they should automatically create an image, uh, a VDI, for example, for the customer. That's it. So and uh, of course uh, in the background we have to to set the right uh, direction, the right access. Uh, what uh, what uh, systems they have in use, or that it puts that they have um, use, and that that's it. So it sounds like it, it takes the, the business processes longer to onboard a customer. Like, so you have to sign a deal, get, get involved with a partner, and IT it sounds like it's moving way faster than the actual business itself. Yeah, it's, as, I, as I mentioned, it's, it's a very fast uh, process in the meantime. So we have a portal, you could go there. So that's uh, to request uh, what they need, and then there's a, uh, uh, automatic behind that, and so we could create automatically this uh, this request for him. So it used to take days to onboard a partner. Now with Citrix Workspace, it's hours, minutes to onboard a partner. How much time I, can you quantify that time savings? I would say if you uh, consider the whole process, it needs some hours. So because it's not only the Citrix onboarding, the Citrix onboarding it goes fairly fast. So then you have to, to create the operating system and so on with the imaging. So to bring uh, this, the applications uh, to their client what they need, I would say that needs hours. From days to hours, so big yeah. time savings. And also what you were talking about, Greg, I couldn't help but think that now that you don't have to provide all of this hardware to your partners, there's probably a massive cost savings as well that ZF has achieved. Can you talk about that? Absolutely, from the cost perspective, we save a lot of money. And the other benefit is that the external can bring the hardware he will work with. So normally we have one device and the external have to work with that and now he can bring his Whatever device. they choose. Right, right, yeah, right. And yeah, any device and that is very benefit for them because they can work with smartphones, they can work with tablet or they can work with a notebook as they like. And from our perspective, yeah, as you mentioned before, we save a lot of money because it's, yeah, we only have to provide the virtual desktop and yeah, we can provide them in a very sh quick quick way and we have workflows for that and yeah, it's, what it's great What feedback for us. have they given you now that the process is so much faster for them but also they're able to use whatever device they're already familiar with? I imagine from a customer satisfaction perspective, this new experience that you're enabling Absolutely. has really probably driven up your customer loyalty. So the customer... The customer's happier, more the satisfied? The customer is more happier, <laughs> sure, uh, of course. So and uh, the important topic for us uh, is the customer is happy, they have a fast solution, he is mobile, so and we have this, uh, the access under control. That's, that's very interesting for us and important. Well, making your customers happy is always a top priority and we hear that you're doing that very well. We want to congratulate ZF on your nomination. Thank you very much. For the Innovation Award. We know that the voting goes through till tomorrow and the winner will be announced. We wish you the best of luck and thank you both for joining Keith and me on theCUBE this afternoon. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Thank, thank you. you. For Keith Townsend, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Citrix Synergy 2019. Thanks for watching.